Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson we are going to learn about the use of was and were. Well, was and were are the past forms of the to be verbs. They are to be forms. When we talk about the present, we use am, is, are. But when we talk about the past, we use was and were. Was and were indicate or show a state of existence in the past. They don't express the actions that were done in the past. They only tell you about a situation or a condition or a state or a position in the past. So let's learn how to use was and were in all its forms, affirmative, negative and interrogative. We shall first see how was and were can be used in different combinations. Let's get started. Was and were can be used with position words or location words. In other words, you can use was and were with prepositions. For example, I was in Delhi last year. I was in Delhi. In is a word that shows the position or the location. So you can use this was and were with in, on, at, from and so on. These are all prepositions and they indicate a position. We were at home yesterday. We were at home. What is at? At also expresses a position. So we were at home yesterday. Here we are using were plus a location or a position word. Was and were can also be used to talk about a status in the past. Well, the status in the present can be expressed using am, is, are. But when you want to talk about your status in the past or your job in the past, you use was and were. So was and were can be used with jobs or status in the past. For example, Nehru was the first Prime Minister of India. Here Prime Minister is a status word. It was, it, it tells us what Nehru was. Jailalita was an actress before she became a politician. So what was Jailalita? She was an actress before she joined politics. So a status in the past. The next one is was were can be used to talk about age, height, weight or number in the past. For example, you can say, I was 23 years old last year. Now, when you want to talk about your age in the present, you say, I am. I am 23, 24 or whatever. But when you are talking about the past, we use was, were plus your age. Let's look at one more example. I was 18 when I started driving. So when somebody asks you, how old were you when you started driving? You say, I was 18 when I started driving. So you are clearly using was what to indicate the age at which you started something. The baby was just 2 kgs when she was born. So the baby was 2 kgs. Here also you are using a number. You are using the weight. He was 21 when he got his first job. He was 21 years old. You can say 21 years old or you can just say 21. And the next one, I was just 4 feet 2 inches tall when I was in 10th class. This is regarding your height. Not in the present but in the past. She was 24 when she got married. So she was 24 when she got married. So when she entered her, you know, her marital life, she was 24. I was just 
11 years old when we moved to the city. I was just 11 years old when we moved to the city. Suppose somebody asks you, when did you come here? When did you move to the city? You say, I was just 11 when I moved to the city. They were just three years old when they lost their father. So the children were just three years old when they lost their father. That means their father died. Now the next example. Sachin was 15 when he started playing cricket. He was just 15 years old when he started playing cricket. Kamal Hassan, you know Kamal Hassan is an actor. He was just three years old when he started acting. Now, the next use of was and were. Was and were can also be used with a condition in the past. For example, we were very tired after the journey. How were we feeling after the journey? How was our condition? Very tired. We were very tired after the journey. Without was word, do not use these words like tired. Don't say we tired. And do not be tempted to use the present for the past. Many students sometimes use am, is, are in place of was, were. They cannot get into the past and use the right past forms. They say, I am tired after the journey. No, you must say, uh, we were very tired or I was very tired after the journey. Don't say, I tired. He was busy yesterday. What was his condition? He was very busy yesterday. It was a state. It was a situation. The next one, my father was very angry with my marks. So sometime in the past, my father was very angry uh, when he saw my marks. You're talking about a situation in the past and you're talking about somebody's state in the past. He was angry. The bus was crowded this morning. What does it mean? What was the condition of the bus? The bus was crowded. Don't say the bus was a rush. Okay, the bus crowded, the bus crowdy and things like that. It would be very nice if you can say the bus was crowded this morning. Many people were injured in the accident. Now, injured is a condition. So you say many people were injured in the accident. Don't say many people injured. Many people were injured. The car was badly damaged in the accident. Here damaged is the condition of the car. The car was badly damaged in the accident. Now we can use was and were in combination with feelings. Let's look at some examples. We were happy because we won the match. We were happy. That means the match happened in the past and we were very happy when we won the match. Happy is a feeling. He was depressed after his wife's death. So when his wife died, he was depressed. Depressed means very, very sad. So that was his feeling. Next, I was interested in dance in my childhood. Now interested is also a feeling, a feeling of interest. That means you liked to do something in the past. Here you are talking about interested. Interested is a feeling. I was interested in dance in my childhood. We were shocked to hear the news. Now here shocked is also a feeling in the mind. You get this feeling of shock. So you are not doing anything here. And don't ever say I shocked or we shocked. I have seen people using this wrongly. They don't use the was or were. Don't say I shocked or you shocked or we shocked. You must use was or were. You must use a to be form. If it's the present, you use I am shocked. If you're talking about the past, you say I was shocked. And the next one, I was surprised to see the change in her. You know the meaning of surprised. Surprised is, you know, to wonder. So I was surprised. Don't say I surprised. Was is absolutely important because you are used, you're talking about the feeling, surprised. We were excited to meet the celebrity. We were excited to meet the celebrity. What is excited? Excited is also a feeling of happiness. 
So we were excited. So this is a feeling. So you must combine it with was or were. He was disappointed with his results. Disappointed is dissatisfied. So he expected something and he did not get it. So this is a state of disappointment. So you say he was disappointed with his result. Disappointed should not be used without this to be firm. Don't say he disappointed. He was disappointed. In my childhood, I was fascinated by toy cars. What is fascinated? Having a fascination means I was attracted by toy cars. I liked them a lot. So how do you express? In my childhood, I was fascinated by toy cars. Now we can also use was and were with qualities of someone or something, but only in the past. Let's see how. She was very pretty as a child. So now she's grown up, but when she was a child, she was very pretty. Pretty means very good looking, very sweet, very cute. He was good at math in school. He was good. What was the quality? Good. He was good at math in school. So in school, he would do maths very well. Lifestyle was simple in the olden days. Simple is a quality. How did the people live? They lived, they lived a simple life. So lifestyle was simple in the olden days. Cost of living was less in, in the olden days. Less means very less. People spent very little money. He was active in his childhood. So what was his quality? He was very active in his childhood. He was weak in his childhood. Next, let's look at how we can make the same sentences with was and were in the negative form and the interrogative form. Because when you speak, you don't just speak affirmative sentences. You don't speak only positive sentences. We also need to know the negative forms and the interrogative forms. And that is how a conversation takes place. So let's look at some sentences which are changed into the negative forms and the interrogative forms using was and were. We were at home. We were not at home. Were you at home? I was free yesterday. I was not free yesterday. Were you free yesterday? The books were available. The books were not available. Were the books available? She was born in a village. She was not born in a village. Was she born in a village? The movie was good. The movie was not good. Was the movie good? The shops were open yesterday. The shops were not open yesterday. Were the shops open yesterday? Look at the way I'm asking you in a rising tone. When I ask a question, I use the rising tone. Were the shops open yesterday? The food at the wedding was tasty. The food at the wedding was not tasty. Was the food at the wedding tasty? So you're asking questions in a rising tone. And when you're using the negative forms, you are also expressing. Because when you speak and you say no, not, you also show some expression in your voice. No, it was not tasty. No, it was not good. No, it was not nice. So when you speak a negative sentence, you use a proper expression. So I am sure you have now understood how to use was and were. You also remember that was and were can come in combination with only the ing forms of verbs. Many students make the mistake of using was and were with the present forms or the past forms. In fact, I have seen many people using this. They say, I was joined, he was came, I was participated, he was died and so on. So you cannot use was and were with the present or the past forms. So this is yet another important rule that you must remember. Was and were can only be used with the verb plus ing forms. For example, I was playing yesterday. I was watching TV yesterday. 
But don't ever say I was watched TV yesterday, I was come yesterday, I was came yesterday. You're wrong. So when you want to use was and were, remember to add ing to the verb. Even with amizar, it's the same. With was were is also it is the same because they belong to the same family. So what are the combinations with was and were? The first combination is with names, age, qualifications, qualities, feelings, location or position. We also use it with uh, condition or a state, status or a job. And finally, with verb plus ing form. Always use it with the ing form of the verb. So I'm sure you enjoyed learning all about was and were. Make sure you use it the right way. Take care to see that you use was and were in the right combinations and your language will be really good. In the days to come, you'll be grammatically more accurate. And when you become accurate with grammar, you develop confidence and you become fluent in the language because you're speaking with confidence. Thank you for watching. We'll come back with more videos. And until then, goodbye.